Yeah. A very good morning, everyone. Uh, 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 welcome to this uh, inaugural session of the online training program on introduction to remote sensing and geographical information system using QGIS. Uh, myself, I am Chaitanya. Uh, uh, I am uh, working as a deputy director at National Water Academy, Central Water Commission, Pune. Uh, I will be acting as the course coordinator for this uh, training program. Program. I hope you all have received uh, uh, the instructions for joining the course on our e-learning uh, platform, uh, nwapune.gov.in. Uh, we have mailed it to our registered email IDs, and I have also posted the uh, PDF file containing the instructions to uh, to join the course in the WhatsApp group. Uh, so it is compulsory for you to register uh, and access the course on the e-learning platform where we will be uploading all the material, including the recorded sessions. And also we will be conducting the assessment after the completion of the training program on the 23rd uh, February. And you will be given uh, time uh, for, till the 26th February for completing the assessment test. And only those participants who complete the assessment on the e-learning portal and uh, submit the feedback form will be given e-certificates, uh, which will be mailed to their registered email IDs. Uh, let me uh, give a brief of, uh, of the training program. Uh, this training program uh, is about uh, uh, introducing uh, the GIS and uh, remote sensing technologies using uh, QGIS, which is a free and open source software. Uh, it is designed as a foundational course for those who have some understanding, basic understanding of uh, these uh, remote sensing and GIS technologies. Uh, we have adopted a flexi mode approach uh, uh, for the convenience of the participants. Uh, the, in the tentative share session plan that we have circulated, uh, you may have noticed uh, that few sessions are live sessions which are marked by L uh, with the timing uh, also uh, specified uh, in the against the session. Uh, those sessions will be conducted in, uh, in the live mode in uh, the Cisco WebEx platform and the link for which will also be made available on the course page on our e-learning uh, uh, portal. Uh, other uh, and uh, all other sessions, including the live sessions, we will be uh, recording them and we will be uploading them. Uh, and we will be announcing uh, whenever we upload any material uh, on our e-learning platform. So you can uh, uh, watch these videos, uh, do the hands-on parallelly, take pause where, whenever required. Uh, you, so it is up to you how to uh, uh, how, means uh, the, you have the you can adopt a flexible approach as as and when you get time you can complete the course but you have to complete it before 26th February and attempt the assessment test to get the certificate and the course material will continue uh, to remain accessible for you uh, on the same portal even after completion of the training program. Now I welcome uh, uh, Sri uh, D S Chaska sir, uh, Chief Engineer and Head of National Water Academy. Uh, to deliver the inaugural address. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody, uh, and very warm welcome to all of you uh, for this one week training program on uh, introduction to GIS and RS uh, using QGIS platform. Uh, uh, I'm really happy to uh, see that uh, so many officers from state, state government, central government, academic institutions, NGOs has uh, joined this program. I hope I'm audible to all of you. Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. Uh, so it is really heartening to know that uh, uh, we have crossed uh, 1100 registrations and that indicates uh, the popularity and also the need of training uh, for GIS and remote sensing uh, technologies across the sector. Uh, in fact, I don't think there is any other technology uh, which has become so popular and which has become so relevant uh, for uh, various fields uh, uh, on ground and water resources is one of them. Uh, National Water Academy is conducting uh, numerous training programs on technological aspects uh, dealing with water resources development and management. And uh, introduction to geographical information system and remote sensing uh, is one of the oldest program that National Water Academy is conducting. Uh, the first program was conducted in early 90s. I think the first program was I think, probably in 91 or so that we conducted here at Pune uh, in a physical mode. And since then, we have conducted uh, numerous training programs. Uh, the structure, the coverage of this program has gone sea change over a period of time. 
the older programs used to be conducted specifically for the licensed software uh, called ArcGIS, uh, Geomatica, uh, Irdas, so on and so forth. And we all know that a uh, uh, few uh, years back, uh, working on GIS uh, used to require a lot of investment uh, in terms of hardware, in terms of software license fees, in terms of getting training. Uh, but a huge sea change has occurred on the way. And uh, uh, the hardware has now been quite powerful and uh, uh, any heavy program can be run on a PC that you normally have on your desktop. Earlier, we used to uh, require a special workstation uh, to run uh, GIS software. Uh, secondly, uh, the software itself needs to be very costly. And uh, with a Google Earth engine and with QGIS uh, coming uh, into play, uh, now we have a freeware or a, uh, you know uh, open source software available, uh, which have really made uh, uh, this uh, uh, you know technology accessible to large number of people. Uh, in fact, it is a kind of democratization of the uh, software itself. Uh, GIS is now can be used by anybody and. Uh, you know, available in the public domain. Uh, you are aware that many satellite uh, imagery uh, in a, in a uh, you know, higher kind of a resolution uh, is available uh, on online free of cost. Uh, there is a software like QGIS and there are online systems like Google Earth Engine. Uh, they not only give you the utilities uh, uh, to work with the software, but also give you the data that is required to give. Many, many, many countries now have a you know, uh, open uh, data uh, access uh, policies, like Government of India has a policy of uh, putting all the hydrometeorological data in the public domain. So this availability of data has also made it possible uh, to uh, use uh, these technologies in various applications in water resources sector. And that is why uh, we see uh, so much of response uh, for the pro program that we are conducting. Uh, whenever we conduct an online program, uh, we uh, really get a very overwhelming response. Uh, we also conduct this program in a face-to-face -face mode, uh, but obviously uh, in a face-to-face -face mode, there are always restrictions and only a few participants can uh, participate. But through an online mode, we can reach out to a very large number of uh, stakeholders. And uh, this program has been uh, you know, designed in a very uh, innovative way uh, in the sense that uh, uh, there are online and offline content. Uh, there are live sessions also, uh, because I'm sure uh, whenever you are working with the uh, GIS platform, you will have a number of queries, number of doubts. And our expert faculty will be available on daily basis, uh, every day. Uh, from 1700 hours to 1800 hours Indian Standard Time, uh, our faculty will conduct an online session. And I request all of you who have joined this course to be very frank with them in asking your questions, getting your doubts uh, cleared. Uh, we could have conducted all the sessions in a live mode, uh, but it is our experience that when you are working uh, with a few GIS and if there is an instructor, uh, sometimes you lag behind what the instructor is telling uh, because it is very important uh, to follow the steps that the instructor, instructor is telling uh, by actually opening the QGIS in another system and following it step by step. So uh, in a, in a, when, when, the, uh, when the session is conducted uh, in a live manner, uh, taking so many participants along with uh, is difficult. Some of them uh, may keep pace with the faculty. Some of them may not uh, keep the pace with the faculty. And that's why we thought it fit that we will keep the uh, recorded session on our Moodle platform. The participant can run it as per his requirement of speed. He can open the QGIS in another software, in another machine, and he follow. He can follow those steps one by one. And in case there is a difficulty, he can ask it in the live session, which is going to be conducted uh, every day. I, I'm sure all of you will uh, appreciate the uh, the way this particular program has been uh, structured. And uh, I request that uh, uh, each of you must register on our Moodle platform to access everything in a proper manner. Okay? Uh, we will have a recorded sessions. Uh, we also will have a you know live session links. Uh, we will also have assignments and feedback uh, accessible through our Moodle platform. So uh, please. 
uh, register yourself on our Moodle platform. And uh, in case uh, you have a colleagues, you have your friends uh, who have yet not registered, uh, please guide them as to how to register on our Moodle platform. It is required only once uh, the registration on Moodle platform of NWA is required only once. Once you register it, uh, you can attend many programs down the line and uh, no need to register it again and again. Okay, so my request to all of you would be uh, to register yourself and also help others, uh, your colleagues, your friends, uh, your classmates. Uh, to register on the Moodle platform because only through our Moodle platform you will be access you will be able to access this program uh, completely and fully because we have only limited live sessions and uh, these live sessions are only for uh, doubt clearing uh, whereas the real sessions are recorded and kept on the uh, Moodle platform. Uh, as far as this GIS software is concerned, it's a free, uh, it's an open source GIS uh, that allows the users to uh, create, edit, visualize, analyze, and publish uh, geospecific uh, geospatial information. Uh, it is developed by a collaborative community of users and developers. Actually, the development of QGIS uh, was started by Gary Sherman uh, in 2002, and the first version was released in uh, 2009. And uh, thereafter, uh, many versions have come. Uh, global community has contributed to its development uh, and uh, you know uh, addition uh, to it in terms of various plugins. Uh, in fact, QGI supports a plugin architecture and which allows the users uh, to extend its core uh, functionality uh, by installing uh, additional plugins. Uh, there are many plugins which are available various uh, for various purposes, uh, enhancing the capability of the uh, software. Uh, the good part about the QGIS is uh, it is very suitable for beginners uh, who want to learn and obtain ma mastery over the concepts of uh, remote sensing and GIS. Uh, it is very easy to install it on a, a computer software and one can make many copies of this software uh, on any available number of uh, uh, devices. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, all of you will take a uh, immense advantage of this opportunity that National Water Academy is offering to all of you. Uh, uh, our expert faculty uh, has, uh, you know, created the recorded video videos very meticulously. Uh, it is like a hand holding, uh, you know, uh, step by step guide. And uh, I'm sure all of you will uh, make use of it. Uh, the QGIS has a uh, ability to support uh, many uh, vector, uh, you know, formats, many uh, many raster formats. Uh, it also supports uh, different kind of database systems and spreadsheets. And most importantly, uh, it also supports uh, various web services. Uh, so, uh, uh, as far as QGIS is concerned, uh, you know, it is equally powerful uh, as that of other licensed software. Uh, the only thing is, whenever you get any doubt, uh, obviously uh, we will be available. But suppose after the program is over and uh, you have any doubt, you will have to search yourself. Whereas in case of a licensed software, you can always, uh, you know, approach the uh, licensing uh, agency to guide you or, uh, you know, uh, advise you on the difficulties. Uh, but because this is an open source software, uh, you will have to find uh, the resolution of your issues on your own appropriately by visiting various forums by putting questions in those forums uh, because as i said uh, it's a free and open source software and uh, uh, global community is contributing uh, in making this uh, software more more and more stronger and uh, uh, user friendly uh, so friends uh, it is really heartening to see uh, that we have about 1100 uh, registrations for this course uh, 31 percent are from state governments uh, about 20% uh, are from central organizations, 31% uh, again are from academic institutions, and 11% uh, are from uh, private organizations, and there are other people uh, for about 6%. Uh, uh, percent. Uh, the representation from uh, states and UTs, uh, 35 states and UTs have been uh, represented in this particular uh, training program, and I'm sure uh, the NWS e-learning platform uh, will be uh, you know, uh, immensely useful to all of you, uh, uh, not only particularly for this particular program, but also for many other uh, uh, programs that we conduct uh, using our e-learning portal. Portal, as I said, you need to only uh, you need to only uh, register on the Moodle platform, e-learning platform, only once. Uh, 
and also help your uh, colleagues and uh, you know uh, friends to do it. Uh, if you are a academic institution, uh, please request uh, your classmates uh, to register for the Moodle platform of uh, National World Academy. There is a uh, many interesting programs, uh, technical programs that we run on through this uh, platform. Uh, there are many distance learning modules that are available, uh, which uh, I'm sure will be of interest to many of you. And uh, uh, that way, uh, the knowledge dissemination uh, that is done by NWA, uh, we are trying to reach uh, to uh, all interested stakeholders. So friends, uh, once again, I uh, uh, welcome you all uh, for this training program. And I must compliment uh, the, our course coordinator, Sri Chaitanya, Deputy Director of National Water Academy, uh, who is a lead faculty and a coordinator for this course uh, for uh, meticulously organizing everything for this program, uh, you know, uh, uh, structuring the Moodle website uh, appropriately and uh, uh, enabling all the participants to for uh, registering for this particular program. So friends, once again, I welcome to the program and uh, wish you a very happy learning in the next five days. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your words and your support uh, for conducting uh, this uh, training program. Uh, now, now we will have a short break and immediately after we have our guest faculty has already joined for the first session. Uh, he is Mr. Uh, Harish uh, from uh, National Remote Sensing Center, and he will be delivering the first session on uh, overview of uh, remote sensing and GIS technologies. So we will meet in another two, three minutes. We will be uh, meeting again. Thank you. <laughs>